Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm doing a tutorial for you guys. So a bit of face tutorial, yeah. Um, so I am going to do an eyeshadow palette um, starting my collection. I'm um, starting soon. I am going to do that probably tomorrow. Then I'm probably going to film two videos tomorrow. One for uh, my Project Pan. And then also one for... So you can have a Saturday video for with the full bonus. Then also, um, sometimes a Wednesday video is a bonus. Just depends why you want to do Tuesday. Um, but yeah, so you might hear puss in the background. So you guys want to see, um, I did shop at um, Ulta, Workers Hill, so um, shop free. Don't think I, do I need anything? No, <laughs> no. Um, I was actually looking for a couple of things, um, which I'll show you in a second. So you guys want to see this guy palette as well. And then I'm also going to show you, um, one eye is going to be, so it's going to be two looks, um, two looks, but of course, um, one's going to be on each eye. So let's get started. So let's start off with, um, this little guy. Um, I keep forgetting what this brand is called, but this is the Winter Wonderland planet. Um, because of course they have the logo on it. I'm like, okay, I don't really know the logo. Um, so I did get, um, I was looking for a new eyeshadow primer, but, um, when they're going just on Ulta of this little guy. So I was like at Ulta, I was just in. This one, dude. So he's a Maybelline. Okay, Sarah, what is he? Maybelline color, color tattoo, and of course he's the white. He's the white one. So I got. I know you guys want some like story times and anything like that. So I'm just gonna prime. See how well I like this. I wanna use this guy tomorrow. See how well um he wears, and I will let you know. So there's that, cause nothing beats my um. Um. Make a revolution primer. I need to grab my brushes. It's like my three go-to brushes. I need to get more of these little guys, but yeah. So let's tell the first story. So the first story is that I finally decided. I finally got into it was my doctor's appointment. When the fuck's my mirror in front of my face? So let's start off with that um this brand right here, whatever he's called. But yeah, I'm gonna start off with let's say I'm gonna start off with I haven't done a green one, so let's start with a green look. Um, get into my. I've been having stomach issues. I've always had stomach issues in the past. Um, I've been to a couple doctors. One doctor, he's an asshole. He didn't care. Um, his staff blamed me for basically can't find my damn vein. So I'm like, okay, if you can't, which is, I'm like, is that is your fault anyways? For you're supposed to be able to find veins, right? Because if you can't find a vein, um, why are you a doctor? But yeah, so this, I'm gonna go into the green one. So I'm gonna do one neutral eye, um, and I'm gonna use um, one color eye, of course. The greens I have not played with, I just played with, of course, the purples. Those are my colors, a couple of teas, but yeah. Which we might have to. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in there for the hey hey. Work with the process, right? Um, yeah. If you don't. Okay, we're gonna fuck with this a little bit. <laughs> I have not um played with it completely, but yeah. So next I decided uh, so it's gonna be a green blue look with a fork. So I'm just gonna do um the pastel. So anyways, um so I've been to different doctors. One um he was just an asshole in general. He just didn't give a shit um who he said or he touched or whatever. He was a money dude, you know, like most some doctors are. My doctor's amazing, I love him to death, he's super cute and um he does listen to it and he knows um, my body. Like, probably the whole freaking thing except for inside it. Because I had, because I only trust him because um, usually if I've seen a doctor, um, they jacked up and I'm like, I go back to my dog and he's like, why the frick do they do this time? And I'm like, you know, same old, same old. And he's like, okay, I expect I need to help you. So I need to fix up this thing real quick. Okay, I had to wipe the fallout because some of the masks get really fallouty. So next I'm gonna go and I haven't used this green one, so holy fuck! He's a multi. Hope you can see him on my finger. Yeah, you can see what he looks like. Holy shit. I swear multi chromes look cute like when you swatch them, but then they look like you can't really do anything with the whole thing. So this palette, this um, and I'm going kind of like a purple for what the hell. So this kind of the eye for that one, kind of cute. The the eyeshadows are very easy to blend. They build, they blend, everything like that. They're very awesome. 
Um, this is the only color so that caught my attention. So now, um, I have a hair towel, so might as well use it. I'm poor mother, I swear. We don't have any, um, stuff around here to, to wash our laundry, so we bug our moms. So this that one. So now let's get into the Morphe one, which is a rose gold palette. I know some of you guys like kind of like more dramatic makeup, and some of you guys don't. So I'm kind of doing both of them, both words and everything like that. Um, do one natural as I can. Um, so yeah. So these um are new to Morphe. Of course, you know I love Morphe. Um. If you're not, if you're new to my channel, um, welcome, hello, um. I love Morphe. Um, these shadows are freaking bombsky. I love them because they're easy to blend in and they're using Shinagi. Um, I do love Revolution and something like that. So, yeah. So, there's that. So, anyways, back to my story, right? Um, so, of course, and then I went to another guy. He was just being a dick. And, of course, he was like, oh, don't be scared. We're taking care of you and all this shit. I'm like, dude, I was fucking mad because you, you staff's an asshole and you decided to be a little prick. And, um... Couldn't find my fucking vein. I'm like, aren't you guys supposed to be your staff? It's supposed to be doctors and it's supposed to be to do that. Um, you know? So I'm like, okay, whatever. And I told my doc, I'm like, I'm done. I can't do any more doctors. I'm like, um, I'm like, you're my, you're my baby doctor. You're my Gucci doctor. You're my whole freaking shenanigan. He's like, okay, okay, okay. Um, are you sure? I'm like, yes. I'm like, yes. I'm like, of course, I don't want to mention my baby's name, but whatever. Um, so, we're also going to use this super metallic guy. This is the new... This guy is new to um, Morphe. He's like, okay, cool. So, I finally decided to try a nude stomach doctor because, of course, my doctor... Uh, my Man, this is light as fuck. Um, I was kind of like... Like, kind of got into it. Hang on, I'm going to find my brush. So, you can leave it like this or you can... I'm going to deepen up because... I look like a ghost. Um... So I'm just going to do a little bit more. I'm using the other palette and just put a little bit of black in the LV. So this is going to be kind of like telling my parents I can wear light makeup day, you know? Okay, so there's the eye on this one and there's the eye on this one. Completely different, right? So I finally got to see the new one and the new one is kind of like a bitch. She didn't grade me no nothing. It's just kind of like whatever type of thing. And um, I guess I'm not going to use my other primer. So I'm using my little Franken primer right here. Um, real quick. Just... The pink one is from, um, TMU. If she didn't agree with me anything like that, she asked me what my symptoms, and I told her, of course, you know, pain in the stomach, blah, 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 and it's, it's in the morning, la, 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 da. And I'm like, I don't, she's like, okay, heartburn, nausea, gas, vomiting, and all this shit. I'm like, you got acid reflux. I was like, bitch, you even listen to me? I don't know. Luckily, it was in my doc's office, because if not, I'd be fucking pissed. If I wasn't pissed already. Okay, so there's that. Um, so we're doing the Fenty, um, primer. The Fenty um, foundation in my shade is in 310. So, yeah, that went out swell. So, um, man, that fucking shadow. I'm freaking gorgeous. Oh. Puss! You know, hey, say, you brother. So, pump, 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 pump. Let's see if it can get away. Okay, so there he is. Hope I got a decent shade. Um, But anyway, so yeah, that went swell. So, I guess she started being on like a freaking lish, um, like a little shit. Um, and basically made up shit that I wanted to freaking punch her in the face. I didn't say that. I was just like, when I got, so I had the appointment to see, um, the new ones. So I got switched over to a new one that is in the same office, you know, and, um, at their office, not my doc's office. And, um, I was 10 minutes late. My, not, oof, sort of my fault, but not really, but because, uh, of course, my other manager was night manager. She had to do some paperwork for the house her house and stuff like that so either she does the paperwork or she's basically can't live there anymore so yeah um that kind of comes first you know stuff like that comes first actually i fuck about match myself pretty freaking good <laughs> no time so i'll let you know how this guy wears um i'm not gonna wear him tomorrow but i am gonna wear him saturday so i'll let you know um but yeah so there's the foundation um so yeah so also um i'm gonna use my next so that went freaking swell. So of course there was like a, um, she, the, the lady at the front of the receptionist was being extremely rude. And, um, like she didn't greet me. She did nothing. She did. It was just like, 
I'm like, I literally was 10 minutes late. She was like, no, you're 17, 20, 30 minutes late. I'm like, okay, now I am because you dicked around about 200 years. Um, but I'm like, I'm like a pretty decent when I go see doctors. But if you want to be a bitch, um, go some, like, it's not the place that you need to be. I'm like, you know, I'm like, you're there to help. Uh, that's why I love my doctor. He's like, I didn't become a doctor to collect money. I came into, became a doctor because I want to help. I'm like, that's why you're my doctor. So, um, let me set my eyes real quick, um, with this paddle real quick, um, from Rear Horse, so gay. Um, so yeah, so they bought me the, uh, I was like, yeah, I want to see the store manager or whatever, um, thing. And I told her what happened at the, when I was at, um, the, my doctor's office, how she was disrespectful, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I told her, I was like, you lucky that I was in, um, uh, my doctor's office because I want to deal with him be going off on me because he's done it before. That's because, you know... When someone's rude, it's, it's like, you're, you're a patient. You shouldn't go into a place that it's completely asinine. Um, and, of course, there was nothing about him. It was just that the bitch was extremely rude. I didn't have a problem with a practitioner. A practitioner was sweet. Um, but, doc, she's dumb as fuck. She didn't even know what B12 was. Um, but, yeah, so there's that. Um, this is actually really freaking pretty. I can't even just let you test this to see how it wears. So, yay. So we also have, I want to use, sorry, my nose is fucking me the shit like. Gonna use a little bit of Makeup Revolution, um, cream bronzer too. So anyways, so I'm like, okay, um, she's like, what day do you have off? And I forgot that I switched my, um, uh, Mondays and Tuesdays because being, um, the manager I am, I have to work on Monday to do psych accounts, you know, shnaggy things, not schedule, you know, everything that's 10 bucks too. Um, but yeah, so I have to work Mondays. She's like, well, I can try to put you on a Monday. I'm like, wait, sorry, I, I forgot that I switched my schedule, but, but can you do a Tuesday? Well, I'm not supposed to put you in, but um, I can put you in. I was like, she said that for a Monday. I'm like, but she's like, I'm book Monday. I'm book for Tuesday. I'm like, okay, you said the same thing on Monday, but you can't um put me on a Tuesday. I'm like, that's an oxymoron. So I didn't say anything like rude or anything that day. It was just like I told her, I'm like, basically, um, I never felt comfortable with her because it touched me or anything like that because, of course, she didn't want to freaking be 12 was. Of course, they made a whole story that I want to freaking um, punch her in the face, which in my head I was thinking that because she's a dumbass. But, you know, I'm like, why, why are you a doctor if you don't know what you're doing? So I need to bronze on my um, forehead because I can't do contour. I can't do... Um, this little shit on top of my forehead. So I'm just going to do a little bit of my freaking cream bronze. Bronzer for the frick of it. So yeah. So there's that. So I'm just going to blend, blend, blend with my fingers. Again, um, it looks really natural in person. Um, believe it or not. Um, like it blends right in. It's just lighting. So if you guys ever wonder why um, it doesn't look. I'm trying to blend it as much as I possibly can. But I can't blend anymore. I'm like, that's because it's basically, it's the lighting of, um, the lighting here. I, I'm, I am going to like swing by Dollar General after I get off my chiropractor mart and maybe find a light so I can stick it like over there. And hopefully that's a problem. And Jason will probably toss it because he doesn't like stuff everywhere, but whatever. But, or I can just stick him in his room because, um, I need another light because. Plus! So yeah, so yeah, they was like, okay, we're going to reschedule you, blah, 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 all good, Danny. I was like, that's all I want. I'm like, I was trying to give them a call on the way to the place, like three times. I called them. I was just putting my stuff away. No answer. I was trying to, okay, next blush. Pain blush is a Morphe, um, euphoric blush. And this one is a, is a three in one silk blush. And this is how not, not stick. So that's what he looks like. So when you blend it out, um, it gets kind of like so. But I was, when I swatched it, I thought it was going to be too pigmented for my skin. But when I actually put on my, like, try it out, it's very sheer. So even the darker shades, um, like the light one, the two light ones, no way in hell that will work for my skin tone. But yeah. So there's that. Very, like, very sheer. But yet, yeah, still cute. Like, um, of course you wouldn't be able to see it on purse, see on camera, but it's, it does show up. Okay, um, so I need to find another guy real quick. We're going to use this, a little bit of this guy right here. So this is, um, Shiny Bean. This is Miami. The, I, 
They gave me the most darkest shade ever. I was like, they gave me a bronze. I was like, dude. <laughs> dude. So, why not? Uh, yeah. Do I look this tan? Okay, I'm tan, but I'm not like that tan. Plus, Lucius is messing with him. So, it's, it's going to be very glowy, <laughs> which is cool. We get that. Um, but yeah, so there's the cream products all set up for you guys. So, I guess they, they called me when I was at work and was like, you know what, um, we can't take you anymore. You threatened to kill, um, kill the um, stomach doctor. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, one thing I said that I was like, she shouldn't be, a, I'm like, you should remove her because if not, you're risking, um, like, she shouldn't, like, unless you guys want people, a lawsuit, not going to happen. Um, but yeah. So, there's that, um, the Queen Parks. So, yeah, I was like, okay, fuck them or whatever. So, I'm trying to get into, um, of course, I got, uh, um, so this is the Tarte Glow, um, blush palette, and this is the shades. I'm trying to show you guys and tell my story. So, I have two different, um, blushes, so I might as well, um, so he does show up pretty good. Okay. Always worry about the bronzer. So we're just gonna do the same bronzer all around, and we're just gonna do um, one one of the blushes on one side, and then the other blush on the other side is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna use the core blush on this side. Fuck, dude. So they have two of these, and my god, Harley fucking Quinn, really? Oh my shit! Okay, fuck it, fuck it. Okay, so next, yeah, that is intense. Whew. Okay, so now I finally finally got the um the next guy. They do have like a little flora sent to it, so yeah. So right now my doc is just waiting on his ultrasound that he ordered. Um, but yeah, he's the one that ordered the ultrasound, I guess. I did on the one cheek. Oh, fuck it. Okay, um, so anyways, so there's that. Um, let me grab my highlight brush. Oh, I grabbed the right one. So, I did grab, um, this little guy from, might as well make myself look more of like a clown like this side, but I was trying to do like the bold and the natural. Yeah, that didn't go so good. So I'm just going to take a little bit of sand and powder and probably tone this perfectly down. I got this cute little guy from um, Dollar Tree, so I'm just going to... He is very white-based, so I was like... I thought when I mixed it, it was going to, like... Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> All right. We're digging this somewhere. We're going to do the nose, too. Why not? Okay. I can deal with that. Not. Nah. Okay, and then I'm also going to use the Ofa highlighter, um, one of these little kits on this side. So we're going to do that one right there. So I'm going to set my pooch, um, and we have kind of like my Franken power quick and do my brows and we go, um, do some eyeliner and we fix the eyes and shenanigan shit. Actually, I want to show you this cute little brush, so I'm just going to do this on camera. So we're just going to set this guy. Did that help? Maybe. I don't even want to try that freaking burgundy one. That's that mauve one. That's going to be exciting, right? So yeah. Skips are doing natural on one side and non-natural on the other side. Not Trish. At least the cheeks kind of match. Okay. I love this freaking powder. It gives me kind of like a glow without, um, I'm, if I would have done this and, um, probably look like an oily beast, but whatever. So I'm just going to go down the neck too, why not? Okay, so let me do my brows real quick because I don't have anything hanky-pooty to show you. 
actually let me show you what I'm doing so you can see what I'm doing. So here's a like lit angle um brush. So this is how I've been doing my brows. So it gives you kind of like small strokes and everything like that. I know when I, I have like more control when I do um these and I do do the 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 douche get the other way. Pretty looks like he's dead. He's been playing outside with his girlfriend. He she bought home he bought home a, a little white kitty cat and was like she came across the street the other day which is kind of like hi um you're definitely like Snow White um like good job pretty. So pretty got a cute little girlfriend. She's adorable. We call it Snowball. Okay, so now I'm just gonna um set my brows with I actually hit pan on um Casino just the other day. So he has a just a little teeny weight pan. He's gonna be just like using my nose for nose contour um and set my my brows or whatever. And after I'm done with this one, then I'm gonna work on um Delphic from Mac. Which he's gonna probably break my heart. <laughs> so after I paint Delphic, I'm just gonna probably keep the compact because he has, like I said, a special place in my heart. Because he's one of my first um, bronze ones, and I can't replace him because he was limited edition. He was what um, Delphic is is a Mac bronzer that was like back years ago. Which is funny, because now I can't really use it. But, you know, he still has a place. So, let me just do on the nose. Man, that freaking cheek is booming. A little bit on the nose. There we go. Okay, so there's the eye. So, let's do some eyeliner real quick. Um, guess I can grab Morphe. Can't tell I can do this at the same time. See? So he's gonna look kinda like that. So when I do a flick, I just kinda just go down and I kinda connect it towards the end. So kinda like that. So I gotta flick that way. I would try to do when I do my tutorials. You guys like um like kinda like split eyes like this, or you want both eyes, um or do you want like dark, like um, like more wearable than more my way type of eye type of thing? Let me know. Of course, if you don't like lip liner, or just do pencil, or whatever you want to do. Um, I got hair on my stinking face. So sometimes I go like this with my face. thing as well. So I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner, and then we're gonna finish underneath the, underneath the eye. I'm still using this stinking thing from Beauty for Real. This thing is taking 200 years to use up, like. I got this much left. Like, that's it. That much left. Um, I am hoping he be done by the end of this month. I'd be so freaking happy. I do really like it. It's really nice. It doesn't, it hasn't broken me yet. Usually some of these lip pencil I know is like this. Um, I always do, I always do black and eat Even if I'm doing a natural eye, like that. Um, so the ones that, hey, do a supernatural makeup look. That's about as natural I'm going to get. Um, even that, I was like, dude, <laughs> I kind of want to do like a halo. <laughs> bitch, this is kind of what I use the gold one for is the, um, which I have it like right here. And it, I don't know what he put. I had it over there, so I don't know where it's at. I haven't put them away yet. Um, it's because I need to do, um, I don't have enough for a palette wink or anything. I might, I don't know, but who knows. But yeah, there's that. So let's get into, um, the, I need the eyes real quick. So we need to do, um. The black underneath the eye. I always do black, it doesn't matter. Then I'm going to do the dark green. Why not? Then, um, what the hell else did I do? I did the blue. The blue is fucking stunning. That blue is like really beautiful. Um, then. Why the hell did I pick up a purple? 
the um the pastels are a little bit on the um powdery side. So there's that one. Like a little bit. It's a little they're a little bit powdery, but nothing like too worn home about. So I need to wash this guy. Dust him off real quick. Because we need to get into the Morphe. So let's do a little bit of the dark brown. For me, that's on my skin tone, this is a mid down brown, so I'm like, yeah, we might have to do some more deepness to this, because this is just like, dude, <laughs> like, I'm like, I just want to slap some brown on it and call it done. I'm um, like, so bad. Because, ugh, I can't do this light shit. It's supposed to be a rose gold palette, but, um, it's not really rosy goldy. It's kind of like just more of a neutral palette, like a, it's rosy-ish. Like, this guy right here is freaking stunning for Morphe. Especially if you wet them. They're absolutely gorgeous. So we need to do something in the inner corners real quick. So I want to do something fun for the inner corner on um, this guy. So I'm going to use Winter Solace because I have not used him. Freaking hell. So um, Angie Anikas, um, or how do you say her last name? She's the one that kind of recommend this. I think she was saying it's similar to Morphe, but it's not. Morphe's mattes are way less for a while than this. Um, but this is the end corner. Then for the next one, I'm going to do, um, for the Morphe palette, it's very human in this building because my landlord is a lazy ass bitch. Um, like we put on Porter six million times and Shinegi. So yeah, um, hopefully soon. Like I do have to go get my ultrasound done for my stomach, everything like that. Then, um, my doc's like, we go from there. So I'm like, thinking, I'm like, so babe's doing the freaking thing where this, where the else sits on the asses, goes, hi. But yeah, um, I need to put the bell white on here in the corner too, because there we go. So I'm just going to flop on some quick mascara for white the hey, hey, and we're going to just use a little bit of this pure white guy. Just lightly dust it on there for the hell. Just, you know. I do have long lashes. Sometimes I wear mascara. Sometimes I don't. When I don't wear, like, I don't do falsies. I hate falsies. Um, because my falsie, when I wear my mascara and I slap some falsies on it, I can see my lashes. So there's no point unless I want lashes up to back here. But then I'm like, kind of like, okay. But yeah, I can get the same effect. Almost, I can get them up to here depending on how good the mascara is. So even, so that's two coats. I am so bad at doing that. I don't have the lighting to do it. To show you, um, mascara, mascaras. So hopefully I can see what it looks like. Yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm horrible at showing the lashes. Um, but yeah. Do I have like a freaking mark on this thing? Yeah, I do. Okay, now let's do put some on lips. So what we're going to do is use... Might as well do this lip liner for why not. I don't want... I have one from when I did my haul. Another night can you on talk is just put a little blur on. So we're actually going to use um, we use this one for now, I guess. We use this one from Ulta. I haven't used this for a little bit. Again, do whatever lip you want. Okay, so let's slap some hair down for the hey hey. And like I said, when I use that purple mask to get the yellow on my hair, it 
stains. <laughs> um, you will even see uh, proper hair mask is what it is. It works of, god damn it, like one of my extensions of being an asshole, but whatever. That's one thing I need to get um, new is new extensions. These are not, like, they're not, um, they're about, I got back in November, I think. So, there's how I look with, um, the winter palette. And so that's what he looks like. With neutral cheek. And here's the Morphe eyeshadow palette. With the bold ass freaking cheek. So wrap up, um, I'm gonna tell you what I love and what I don't like. Um, I'm first impressions. Um this guy, I absolutely love this guy. I want to get another one of these eyeshadow palettes. Um again, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I know you guys keep telling me and I'm like, I always forget. Um, because obviously the only thing is that they do get pretty filthy. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's really beautiful. The formula is really nice. The eyeshadows are really powdery. Um, but yeah, and the, and the shimmers, oh, I'm obsessed with the freaking shimmers. Um, they're gorgeous. The only downside of the problem is that I haven't had this guy wait long and I hit pin on that one. So that's the bad part is that you're most likely you are going to use them up pretty quickly because um, even though it's 0.73 an ounce, so it's whatever type of thing. So let's actually do some math. So those are around 0.03 an ounce, which is um, not small, but not big. They just, they're just they not they're on the smaller side of the scale. Then the, um, the, the Morphe palette... So you're gonna, the shimmers are most likely you're gonna hit paint on them. This guy is point, um, .35 an ounce. So I do like these palettes. Um, let me show you the gold one real quick. Sorry. So, okay, so let me show you the gold one. What's that one? I do really like the gold one. Um, again, halo eyes because that's about as deep as I can get on this one. This one does have a darker brown than the other guy. I believe. So there's that one. And then where the hell did the other guy go? For my face. And then this other one is a little bit on the lighter side. So there's a difference between the two dark browns. This one is a little bit lighter than that one. The other one and this one gives me a hair a bit more depth, but not much. Um, the metallics ones are beautiful. They are... Um, but if you're looking at the lighter shades... They all kind of like the last three are kind of similar a little bit. They just maybe this is a habit gold and this is a habit pink. But on that, and there's not a whole much difference. The formulas are very beautiful. I love them. Um, again, like I say, I love Morphe. They need to do more of these um, little bake guys because we just watched the gold one. And I'm gonna like the gold one is just intense, They're really intense. And then the um, the rose gold is also pretty intense. So that's. Fucking good for Morphe. These remind me of those big ones they used to have back in the day. Because they used to have these big eyeshadows. And those guys were like foil and tense. They, um, even though they're kind of similar to that formula. So hopefully they do go back to those, back to the eyeshadow formula. Because those guys were intense eyeshadows. They're beautiful. I still have them. And I love them. I just don't know where the hell they're at in that bottom of the collection. Um, they do have, for Tarte, they do have... A lighter one and the dark one. Luckily, and the only thing I was scared of was the bronzer. If he was going to um, um work on me, but I did get um bronze up a little bit. He's but if you are, but the blushes are very intense. You see how that um core ones. So let me swatch the other two swatches three for you, so you can see what they look like on on hand swatches um or wrist swatches or whatever. So that's what they look like. Um, if you're any darker than my skin tone, 37, um, in MAC, you can see 37, those are not going to show up on you for the bronzer, but, um, for, of course, the, um, the blushes are going to go very sparely. Um, they do have a lighter version, but it's more highlight-ish. So I love, really do like that. Um, this guy, I have to let you know how he wears. Um, he's not dewy, but he's, um, kind of like a satin, which is says it's supposed to be more of the hydrating one. I didn't really like the matte one. The matte one was very, um, matte. <laughs> but it was okay. 
Um, the next blush I do really like is really pretty. Um, do I get into my one eye shade? Probably not. But yeah, I do like actually like the the blush is actually um really um they're very buildable, so that's a good thing. These guys then um the Tarte ones make sure you go very light handed. I hope they do more of this formula because this formula is flipping good than some instead of the Tarte Emmys and Clay ones, which you got like they're very more buildable. Uh no, those are not. This one's amazing. Um these um lip blushes from Morphe are very subtle, so you have to Depending on like this one works on my skin tone, but the lighter ones were not. They have two lighter ones. They have a super um cool tone kind of one. I was just like, yeah, ooh. I'm like, uh, Sarah, um, you're warm and it's not gonna work on it, but whatever. I can't. I can pull off on my lips, but I don't know if I can pull on my cheeks because they look kind of boozy. That's why I'm kind of like iffy about the um the mauve one. Um, but other than that, this lip dude is. <laughs> I can work with it, um, but yeah, and this cute little brush I do really like. So then I do really like uh, um this guy. I uh, just see how he wears. Um, did it made is it as good as the one from Makeup Revolution? No. Um, that guy is incredible. It's um it lasts me good on all time. It um like the last one wear is amazing and it makes my eyeshadows pop like no other dream. This guy um. So when you blend it out, it kind of like, it doesn't stay that way. So you kind of have to like screw with it a little bit. Plus it's being a mountain boy. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, come subscribe um, to my channel, anything like that. Um, thank you for watching me. Um, let me know if you want me to do more kind of like this. Um, if you want me to do more that type or that type, whatever you want, um, let me know. I am doing that freaking eyeshadow thing for doing more and then hopefully doing another video for, um, you guys, so you can see, um, all, like, my other, my Project 10, anything like that's coming up. Then, of course, I do lipstick on a Monday, maybe. Um, until the next week, 10 next video, um, toodles, um, and see you guys later in my next video. Bye, guys.